Yeah, I'm, I'm, okay, so yeah, pardon my dirt. I've been working on the fridge outside, but um, okay, a couple things I just wanted to hammer home. We're super happy to have you, all of you guys here. We don't normally do things in a bigger orientation like this, so it's gonna be fun. Um, so bear with us as we're kind of learning. Also, Lindsay is fairly new at her job, so I know she's crushing it, but um, keep that in mind. If Just be patient with her and ask us tons of questions, and we're really excited to have all of you. Um, a couple of things I just wanted to uh, go over with you guys that's just kind of makes us us and uh, kind of is highest level how we run the company and like Leslie was saying a lot of the stuff we do is kind of top down we really practice it as leaders um, we're not afraid to kind of have our hands in the dirt you'll see me running orders all day and like climbing all over fridges and doing catering events you'll see Lindsay doing the same and uh, we don't expect you guys to do anything that you know any any manager wouldn't do themselves um, so that's the number one thing so we're we're totally uh, we're totally with you guys on, on that front the other thing is uh, the way we look at our company is um, it's really all about the experience and one little secret that I like to tell to my employees that I leave and tell to my customers is you can literally make these same drinks or get a lot of these same cookies at the local like Maverick or the gas station you can make them for quicker cheaper and yet some reason there's always a line here at thirst and there's always people trying to get in and the reason is because of the brand and you guys know like what brand is right like the, the easiest way to describe brand is I'd like to give the example of Nike right like why do people buy Nikes over you know like the Walmart brand shoe like a lot of the times the Nike shoe and like the store brand shoe like they're the same quality right but the reason you buy Nike is because it's Nike. You know what I mean? Like it's the cool thing because you know, like LeBron's wearing Nike. Actually, I don't even know if he is, but like, like that kind of idea, right? Um, it's the Nike brand. It's the same idea here on just a kind of a different scale. And to kind of encompass that brand, we like to do it. We like to set our brand apart by a customer experience. So um, like she was saying, she was explaining it a second ago, the, our philosophy to provide an amazing experience isn't, you'll hear a lot of companies say, oh, the customer's always right. You guys have probably heard that phrase before. We don't think that. We don't think the customer's always right. In fact, a lot of the times they're not right. We want, we think that the team member's always right. You guys are always gonna be right. You're always gonna be our top priority. And the reason is because if you guys are happy, then you're gonna be providing that much better of a customer experience. And that's our philosophy. And so um, we really are here for you. Um, so you guys, if you need anything, if, you, if you're having an experience that you wanna share or you have feedback or anything, please, please share it. Um, yeah, so it starts with the team for us. It's not, it's not necessarily about the customer. The last thing is, um, one of our core philosophies is that we don't think we're necessarily entitled to our customer's business. And this kind of ties into that customer experience like we were just talking about. And what I mean by that is like, we work really hard for our customer's business. If you've noticed, if you, any of you have been following along, we do a lot of marketing. Um, we're, for instance, we're always filming things. We're always posting a lot of things. If you guys will meet Rachel, she's our marketing manager. She works full time just on marketing. So she's uh, looking for new ways to bring our customers value in order for them to get into the door. Um, so one of the ways that we don't be entitled to our customers business is we try really hard to get them into the door. So we're gonna do a ton of marketing. And so we're gonna keep you guys in the loop on like all these different promotions and like features. And so it's super fun because we get to give these things to the customers and you get to present them all these weekend features, all these like daily little promotions. So that's one, one way we do it. The other way is we are, we provide an amazing experience. And the reason we do that is because we're grateful for them being there in the first place. Think about it this way. Like they don't have to come to our store. Like I was just saying, they can get these drinks cheaper at Maverick and these cookies cheaper somewhere else or faster somewhere else. Sometimes our line, line takes a long time. Like we need to be, you need to be in the mindset of, Oh wait, like they don't have to be coming here. Like the, re the fact that they're coming here gives us all a job, you know what I mean? And uh, so one of the ways we don't take advantage of that is we're really nice to them. And so um, we'll, we'll work on a, you know, customer interaction a lot, but we really, really work in every, every phrase we say and every, you know, intention that we have with the customer. We're grateful for them being here because it gives us jobs and it gives us the opportunity to even do what we're doing. Um, and so, yeah, we don't think we're entitled to our customer's business. And that's why we're all about the customer experience. And that's why we're always doing so much marketing. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, I don't know if Lindsay mentioned it, but one of the things we say here a lot is positivity is infectious. Um, people ask all the time, like, why are, you, why are the employees at Thirst like so happy? Like why, it's like almost like weirding me out a little bit. Like they'll come to the window like, oh my gosh, hi. And you'll be like, 
I just want to sew it. Like, like it, we're like really like overly happy to be there. It's because another, re another one of those top down things, positivity is infectious. My whole motto is positivity. Like I like focusing on the positive. I like, I like to accept the negative, but just kind of leave it there and, and do nothing more with it. We focus all on the positive. If there's something going wrong in the kitchen, Lindsay, myself, any of the managers, you guys even, should try to shut it down or you know acknowledge it and do what you have to do with it sometimes, but um, really, really focus on the positive. And so what I mean by positive, positivity is infectious is we're really positive. Our managers are really positive. All of our shift leads are positive. The people I've worked here for a long time, they're all super positive and it will rub off on you subconsciously even if you don't realize it. You'll, be, you'll find yourself at the window and be like, hello, welcome, to, like super animated. And you'll be like, what the heck? Um, it really does happen. And so positivity is definitely infectious and we want it to be because we're grateful that our customers are coming because they don't have to come. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like the motto of everything. Um, I'll be running around here 24 seven. Lindsay's gonna be more your, your answer to logistical stuff, scheduling, covering shifts, 